Hey, Noah. Hey, how's it going? Well, that's sheltered in place, stuck at home. Uh, I don't know, kind of the same. They just extended us out to uh, to May 31st, as you know. Um, how are you doing? How's life uh, life going for you now? Pretty good. You know, just working, um, spending a lot more time with the tank, noticing a lot of different things uh, that I usually am since I'm not, I'm not usually here uh, during the morning time. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been different. I've seen a couple different uh, colors and, and things opening up that uh, as times I didn't usually see. You know, it's interesting being able to be there all throughout the course of the day and see, oh, that's what it looks like at noon or whatever it may be. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I definitely got scared a few times uh, seeing Cole's. I'm used to seeing fully open in the morning. Uh, usually don't see him at that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I. I uh, for me, it was it was in the evening getting a chance to see that that uh, that I had a, a, a timing running a little bit long on or a, 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 the light running a little bit long, um, so I was able to adjust that. But uh, yeah, it's been you know I'm I'm stuck with uh, just the corals I've got. I haven't uh, gotten to scratch the itch with all the coral shows uh, coral shows canceled and whatnot. Um, have you been uh, been going through a bit of coral withdrawals as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I made one purchase. Uh, during this quarantine so far, um, definitely spending a lot of time Facebook and Instagram and doing some uh, window shopping online. But uh, it's not as good as going to all the shows and getting to see, you know, all the tanks and and all those corals uh, that you really just don't get to see online that often. Well, right, because because people at those shows they bring their like really really nice big show pieces that that they're not really going to sell, but they want to show it to you. But yeah, you don't see those online very much. It's uh, it's uh, it's disappointing sometimes. I can't wait for those to uh, those to get back up and running. Yeah, I can't agree more. I mean, definitely miss seeing some of those huge colonies like the Holy Grails and Dragon Soul torches. Um, you know, ten, twenty heads that you know occasionally we get to see that I haven't seen in a while now. Yep. Well, I know you took a lot of a lot of photos and whatnot uh, of the uh, you know most over-engineered well-stocked nano tank, as you uh, as you put it. Um, how's it doing right now with uh, you being home more and got some new corals in there? How's how's everything looking? Uh, doing really great. Yeah, just uh, trying to keep my hands out as much as possible. Um, you know, it's inevitable that you're going to put your hands in a little bit more now that we're home all the time, but. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, just trying to do things that are going to make a positive impact on the tank, not try to stress too much about a little algae popping up. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah show it to me. Show, I would say, show me, show me what it looks like. Let me, let me see some of the, uh, some of the coral that's in there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, pull it up here. All righty. So you went with a, uh, you went with a nano tank in the kitchen. What, uh, what inspired that? Yeah, well, I got this tank um, as soon as I, I moved here, um, and I really wanted a tank to hold me over from, from uh, until I got my 75-gallon running. Uh, so that's kind of this tank, and then it exploded from there, decided that I really wanted to make it packed full of all the coral uh, that I enjoy, because um, in a 75-gallon tank, it's a lot more expensive and hard to, to pack it completely full. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I mean, it's definitely full. So what's this? this? Is a nano tank, right? How many gallons is it? Uh, this is a 14-gallon innovative marine peninsula. Um, so I really like those peninsula-style tanks. Um, just in, you know, the, the space I have now, really big tank is it's hard to do. Yeah, it's changed a bit since I was over there taking care of it when you were out of town, and I don't know, a month or two, well, a th few months ago. What's, uh, what's changed with it? I've uh, added that frag rack up there, um, added some acros that you didn't see before. Um, definitely had a lot of growth since the last time you saw it as well, uh, especially in those uh, those mushrooms down there uh, in, the, in the bottom. There'd be an area where I'm getting a lot of growth. Well, yeah, I mean, shoot, you it was only, I don't know, it was a month or two ago, maybe two months that I saw. Oh, that, those clowns are, uh, clowns are going at it. Is that a, uh, that a, that a black storm there? Yep. Yeah. Black storm and a regular, uh, black clown fish, uh, as the man, um, picked those up from our local shop and they've been doing great for about a year now. 
Gotcha. Gotcha. They look like it's feeding time. And I, uh, I cut you off. You said you were uh, having some good growth out of those mushrooms down there in the bottom. Is that, is that right? Yeah. You yeah, have some uh, good growth all grown in size and uh, possibly some little baby uh, mushrooms coming along as well in that jogger. That is a really photogenic clownfish. Um, and a nice, uh, what's that? Is that a, is that a sun kiss bounce there? Yeah, yeah, that's a sun kiss in the back. Um, that one's been doing really well. Um, sometimes the other bounce, uh, especially the OG, do well in my tank. Um, but this one seems to be doing really well. I'm not going to push it with the OG too much. Well, I was going to say, because you've had, you've had those OG bounces that, what, you've had, what, two of them that have that have dissolved on you what why any idea why those are doing doing poorly and that sun kissed is doing well yeah it definitely hurts when the, <laughs> the ogs didn't make it um no i really don't know um parameters seem to be fine phosphates nitrates pretty low everything's stable um just different right. core i guess i said that's kind of the way it goes and those are some blastos in the back there right those are those blastos and that gani are pretty bright um are those like named blastos or where'd, where'd you get those? Oh, well, I got those uh, from aquatic realm. Um, he didn't have names on them, which is kind of refreshing. Um, Cause everyone's got crazy names out there. So no names on those guys. Um, it's really bright blastos. Nice. Nice. So yeah, I'd see there what you got one with uh, two or three heads and one that, that stripey one in the back with, uh, with just one head. Is that, is that right? Or am I seeing those right? Yeah, um, the the stripy one does have uh, three or four little tiny baby heads, but they're hidden by the main head. I gotcha. I say I got I got one like that. We'll uh, we'll have to race a grow out contest on that. It's a similar similar one. Uh, probably came from the same colony. Um, just got to make sure you, that chalice doesn't run it over. Is that too close, or is that chalice keep uh, keep keep it keep to itself? Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely have to trade um, that chalice. Definitely growing really fast. Probably the fastest grower in this tank. Um, it's getting close, so I may have to cut it up here pretty soon if uh, it continues with that kind of growth pattern. Well, that and that chalice is, we have the same one in our office tank, right? Uh, or the, yep. the 60 cube at the office, is that right? Yep, yeah, exact same one. Um, this one has been in here a little bit longer and hasn't been uh, flipped over by an urchin. So it's doing a little bit better than uh, the one in the office is, but I'm sure that one will recover. I was going to say, I checked out the one in the office the other day when I went in to do a water change and uh, the flesh is healed up. It's not growing like it was before, but the flesh is healed up pretty well. Um, so yeah, you got that down way at the bottom. It gets some shade from the, uh, from the frag rack and that other branch as well. Um, and you said that came from Neptune, right? Yep. Yeah, it's a Neptune coral. Gotcha. And then, so I'm gonna guess are those uh, are those GMK polyps uh, of the Grandmaster Krakatoas that you got from Neptune up in the uh, up in the upper left there? Yep. Yeah. It's uh, those are them. Um, doing really great. Had a baby one pop, um, and that's yeah, actually it's, uh, it's a different color. What? Do you, has it always been like that, or? Yeah, that one. Uh, so initially that one wasn't a different color, um, but we went to reef stock and uh, my snail decided that he was going to pull it off of where it was originally glued and knock it over onto the bottom of the tank. So it lost a little color. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, yeah. So you got a couple different color grandmaster cracks and those rainbow chalices. Those are some, those are some crazy colors. Where, where'd those come from? Uh, those ones again are aquatic realm. Um, Rainbow chalices only had the really bright one for a month or less. Um, one of the other ones in the bottom there uh, got stung, so he's healing, but doing better now. Gotcha. So they're up on the frag rack. Are they going to stay there, or what's the plan with them? Uh, eventually, those will be going into the the seventy five that I'm setting up. Um, gotcha. So that'll be coming soon. Nice. And then uh, that orange hammer, um, was that the one I talked you into in uh, San Diego? Yeah, yeah I was uh, not going to leave without a coral that day and talk me to that one. So, yeah, he's doing really well. You can see he's popped a, you know, a couple more heads, um, but slow grower for that guy. Gotcha. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's a good thing TSA let you through, uh, let you through with that one. <laughs> 
And so, uh, oh, I see the clowns coming up. Are those, uh, do they host that, host the Euphilia and that, that, that leather over there? Or do they kind of, they have somewhere else they, they host right now? Yeah, they like to spend a lot of time in the Euphilia. Um, I find the small one kind of propping himself behind all sorts of corals. So um, never really know where he's going to be sleeping at night. Got it. Well, so you definitely have some good stuff with the coral. Uh, tell me about how you keep it stable. I have trouble in big tanks. I can't imagine what goes on in a 14 gallon. So how do you, how do you keep it stable? Yeah, well, with salinity, I'm um, in a small tank. It's hard to deal with. So the tunes ATO is definitely a must for me. Um, then I also have a Neptune system running, you know, the dose is doing an auto water change. The trident's keeping track of everything. Um, and then I do dose all for a reef to keep everything stable. Gotcha. And then, uh, let's see, you got an A360X over there. It's way too much light for a tank. What do you run that thing? Like 20%? Yeah, that one's running, um, 27% for two hours. And then it kind of ramps up and ramps down for, for 10 hours. Um, a little bit of red, green, violet in there as well, but that main core spectrum is really what I'm well. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Kind of set it and forget it. Right. Yep. Yeah. I definitely don't like to make a lot of changes. Just it's pretty much been the same setting the whole way through. Nice. Well, dude, it's, it scratches the itch a little bit for me. There's some corals in there that I haven't seen in a while because I haven't been to a show and I haven't been to a store and I haven't, haven't gotten a chance to go visit anywhere and look at corals that are not just mine. Um, are you, uh, I know I'm setting up a new tank right now. Are you, uh, are you setting up that 75 you said? Yep. 75 gallon is, uh, finally up, um, no leaks. So cleaning and then we'll get salt, uh, into there and rock and get it going. Very nice. Well, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you get back to, uh, cable management and, uh, salt <laughs> dissolving and all that good stuff. And, uh, I gotta go, uh, mine's running a leak test right now. It's, eight hours free of drips at the moment. So fingers crossed them. I can move on to that next step as well. Yeah, definitely keep an eye on that. And uh, I'll see you uh, hopefully at the office here in a month or so. <laughs> right. Who knows when it'll be, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you later, Noah. It's good to chat. Yeah. Talk to you later. Alrighty.